Hello, my name is Mustafa. Today I'm going to show you my elevator control project. Let's uh, start with the safety sensors. Uh, as you see, there are three sensors. Flame sensor, vibration sensor and gas sensor. If there is any flame or fire in our elevator cabin, then our flame sensors will be uh, sending high volumes to our microprocessor. If there is any earthquake occurs, then our vibration sensors will be sending high volumes to our elevator uh, microprocessor. Then if there is any gas leakage in our elevator cabin, as the same way, this gas sensor will be burned. Let's show you the working of the system. How does it work? If there is any fire in our, ele our elevator, as you see, the alarm is working. If there is any gas leakage in our elevator, the alarm is working with the same way. As you see, this is the working of the vibration sensor. But how does it work? Uh, let's show you. Uh, this sensor's output will be connected to the uh, same point uh, as you see named B1, uh, which is going to the microprocessor's uh, B1 external interrupt pin, which is uh, RB1. Uh, let's delete the safety sensors because uh, they are causing the system will be uh, unstable or uh, working slowly. Uh, let's show you the elevator sensor lightning system. If the motion sensor uh, sending to the high volumes to our microprocessor, that, then our elevator lightning will be uh, working as you see. Uh, this system is working slowly because of the CPU load. So, uh, this elevator lightning is uh, off uh, the time will be uh, passing. Okay. Uh, let's delete this motion sensor. So, let's show you the, uh, our elevator button and ho how does it work. As you see, there is an elevator door motor uh, and this is working to the uh, right direction. If there is any uh, door button is work, uh, so if we use this door button, then our elevator door will be uh, going to the opposite direction. As you see, uh, let's delete this elevator door too because the system is working slowly. Let's delete. As you see, there is an LCD information screen which is showing temperature, pressure and day information and there is left for maintenance. Uh, as you see, this is the LCD information screen uh, and uh, as you see, there are buttons of our elevator. Uh, elevator have a five floor actually and there is an alarm button, fan button and door button. This door button uh, I showed you. How does it work? Uh, and there is a fan button for our elevator. Uh, let's show you this fan button. How does it work? If okay, uh, if our uh, elevator cabin temperature is 26, then uh, our cooler and heater fan does not working. It is not work. They are not working. Let's show you. Uh, I pressed the fan button and but they are not working if this temperature is going down let's show you then uh, our cooler fan needs to be our pardon our heater fan needs to be worked uh, but program is working slowly at this time so we can't show the uh, working of these fans Okay, let's wait. Let's try again. <clears throat> ah, as you see, the heater fan is working now at this time. And if the uh, temperature is going to up, 
from the uh, 26 degrees uh, and then needs to be work header fan uh, pardon color fan fan uh, let's wait okay as you see the color fan is working now okay then uh, let's um, delete this color and header fan because my system is really unstable at this time. Okay, um, let's delete this. Uh, as you see, there is an uh, elevator lightning system, button lightning system too. Uh, let's show you the elevators uh, working. As you see, if I press the third floor button, the elevator is going to uh, up, as you see. CPU watt is 60% uh, as you see and there is a GLCD for uh, elevator animation system as you see first floor and second floor and third floor will be showing to a user as you see uh, but uh, from uh, there is an error occurs from the uh, Proteus uh, because of the CPU load uh, is too much. Uh, let's show you the other uh, floor buttons. As you see, if we use the zero floor button, then elevator is going to the down, up, down direction. As you see, to the zero floor, second floor. First floor, okay, and zero floor will be showing. Uh, as I said, uh, I will show you uh, later in this video. Uh, this program occurs from the uh, CPU lot. Uh, as you see, there is a DS1307 model for clock. Uh, that, but uh, I can't uh, work this uh, model uh, for now, but I will uh, handle this pro problem too. Let's delete this. As you see, there is a LED area sensor for curtain, uh, and uh, if the LED area sensor is uh, sending low values to our microprocessor, then uh, our curtain motor is going to the up direction and if there is any sun in our system like this the curtain motor will be working to the opposite direction as you see that's if there is any sun or in our system it will be work to the opposite direction okay let's uh, delete the system too Okay, and delete elevator lightning too. As you see, there is a pressure sensor for our elevator uh, inf LCD information screen, and there is elevator motor driver for elevator movement, uh, and safety sensor connector, uh, as I said. Uh, and our microprocessors uh, have uh, unused pins, as you see. Uh, and I used uh, two microprocessor because of my uh, pr project as uh, this is uh, handling to uh, our elevator's control uh, and movement and this is uh, handling to uh, our processor's um, sensor informations uh, or LCD information screen uh, as you see I put this uh, project uh, a compim so uh, in the next year uh, the other uh, students can be at uh, a bluetooth system to our uh, elevator system or my elevator system as you see uh, let's play this system too okay uh, then show you the elevator system again uh, 
Okay. Anyway, it is working now. First floor. Second floor. Third floor. And fourth floor needs to be. It's not working. Uh, as I said, this is from uh, causing from Proteus. Uh, I tried this uh, too many times. Uh, as you see, it's uh, going to the down up direction. Um, <clears throat> okay, as you see, there is an alarm button too. Let's show you how it's working. Let's, as you see, the alarm is working. I used a buzzer for alarm. Uh, the elevator at second floor and it's going to the first floor as you see let's and uh, this is my project uh, so thank you for listening to me